As we are all aware, Newcastle have a few days to rest until our next fixture, but the news around the club is still very much ongoing. In today's video, we're going to discuss all the latest news from around the club in the last 24 hours, which includes the huge FA news that will have a meteoric impact on Newcastle. There's so much to cover in today's video. And hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Before we do get into today's video, as always, make sure you do drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel for more Newcastle United content. Arsenal legend Ian Wright believes Newcastle United winger Anthony Gordon is deservedly in the conversation for Gareth Southgate's England squad thanks to his consistency this season. The 23-year-old has hit form for the Magpies at the ideal moment as the countdown to this summer's European Championships in Germany continues. Gordon was called up to last month's England squad and made his debut for the senior team in their 1-0 defeat to Brazil. Since then, the former Everton winger has continued to shine for Eddie Howe's men and did his chances of getting a seat on the plane no harm on Saturday with a goal and two assists in the Hammering vs Tottenham Hotspur. Should he wish to be in that squad, he may have to battle for his place against Chelsea's Cole Palmer. The 21-year-old has been the key man for Maurizio Pochettino this campaign and his four-goal hole in the 6-0 thrash of Everton on Monday night has taken him onto 25 goals in all competitions. While it will undoubtedly be a tough battle moving forward for that spot on the Free Lions team, Wright explained why Gordon deserves to be in that conversation. Explaining on Wrighty's house, he said, Can I just say, with Anthony Gordon looking at a player who has gone somewhere and has blossomed, what Eddie Howe has done for him, his movement in off the line, his finishing, his energy. We're looking at a winger now who has firmly put himself in the picture for the Euros. Anthony Gordon looks like a problem. He's a problem. He's bringing 7 out of 10 performances every week. 8 nines maybe. His consistency's gone somewhere else. Eddie Howe has got to take a lot of credit for the way he's nurtured him into an England international. Southgate were named his final 23-man squad for the Euros, no later than June the 7th, with England's first group game against Serbia on Saturday, June 16th. Newcastle United will no longer have to play in the FA Cup replays after it was announced they will be scrapped from Round 1 onwards next season. The FA and the Premier League have reached a new agreement which they say will strengthen the FA Cup format with new and exclusive calendar windows. It will see all FA Cup fixtures played on weekends, with the 4th, 5th and quarterfinals weekend exclusive of Premier League matches. Meanwhile, the final at Wembley will now take place on the penultimate weekend of the Premier League season, on a Saturday with no Premier League fixtures taking place on the same day. The biggest shake-up is the decision to scrap replays from the first round proper in what has sparked an angry reaction from fans and non-league clubs. The current format, which has no replays from the 5th round onwards, has been extended throughout the competition proper, in light of the changes to the calendar driven by expanded UEFA competitions. Although there are concerns over how non-league clubs will be impacted financially, it claimed the Premier League has increased funding to the football pyramid, providing up to an additional £33 million for grassroots football, on top of the £100 million it currently gives to good courses each season. The league will also provide up to £133 million per season from the 2025-26 season, maintaining existing commitments and enhancing support to key areas of the game. The Premier League currently gives away £1.6 billion every three years, 16% of its total revenues, to all levels of men's and women's football, and this new money will provide significant support to a range of areas as the game continues to grow. FA Chief Executive Mark Bullingham said, The Emirates FA Cup is our biggest asset, and generates over 60% of our revenue to invest into the game, so it's critical to secure a strong format for the future. This new agreement between the FA and the Premier League strengthens the Emirates FA Cup and gives a very special tournament exclusive weekend in an increasingly busy calendar. The new schedule ensures the magic of the cup is protected and enhanced while working for the whole of the English game. The longer summer period also allows a much needed player break before the start of the next season. We have also agreed new funding for the grassroots game, disability football and the women's and girls game. All football begins at grassroots and this is recognised by the Premier League with very welcome additional financial support. Premier League Chief Executive Richard Masters added, The Premier League is proud of the investment it provides to all levels of the game and this new agreement with the FA will see us enhance our support into grassroots football. This will improve facilities for communities and lower league clubs across the country through the Football Foundation and Premier League Stadium Fund. Throughout our discussions, both parties have been committed to enhancing the schedule of the Emirates FA Cup, a hugely important domestic competition with a storied history. The FA and the Premier League have worked in partnership to deliver more exclusive weekends without compromising the excitement of knockout football, and this has been achieved at the same time as allowing us to ease fixture congestion generally. 
The Premier League's hopes of securing additional spots in next season's European competitions were dealt a major blow last night after Manchester City and Arsenal exited the Champions League. A new Swiss league format introduced by UEFA will see four more teams enter the Champions League in 2024-25 with one extra place going to the two top performing leagues. In England's case, it would be fifth position and that's decided by whose club performed best across Champions League, Europa League and Europa Conference League. England are currently third behind Italy and Germany in the 2023-24 UEFA country coefficient and the chances of overturning the deficit essentially rest with Liverpool and West Ham United in their Europa League second legs tonight. But their progression into the semi-finals have been plunged into major doubt. Liverpool trail 3-0 to Serie A side Atalanta, whilst West Ham are 2-0 down to German champions by Leverkusen, who haven't lost a game all season. Should ties go as expected, Aston Villa, who lead Lille 2-1 from the Europa Conference League quarter-final first leg, will be the only English team left in Europe. In short, a miracle is needed. Italy are guaranteed to have at least one team in the Europa League last four, with AC Milan and Roma going head-to-head, -head, while Atalanta should join either team. Then, in the Conference League, Florentina are aiming to get past Czech Republic outfit Victoria Pleasant with a tie level at 0-0. Meanwhile, Germany still have both Bayern Munich and Borussia Dortmund in the Champions League after their last eight victories over Arsenal and Atletico Madrid respectively and Leverkusen in the Europa League. The current standings are number 1 Italy 18.428, number 2 Germany 17.642, number 3 England 16.875, number 4 Spain 15.312, number 5 France 15.250. Fifth spot may not sound like it benefits Newcastle United, as they currently sit 10 points below Tottenham Hotspur, but has a knock-on effect on the Europa League and Conference League qualification. Should fifth become a Champions League's place, the automatic Europa League spot drops to sixth, and the Conference League spot drops to seventh. It could potentially fall to eighth if the FA Cup winners have already qualified for Europe. But with the extra Champions League spot all but gone, who wins the FA Cup which guarantees the Europa League place between Manchester United, Coventry, City, Chelsea and Man City could be key for Eddie Howe's side. As it stands, sixth position which Newcastle currently occupy is a Europa Conference League spot and that will remain the same if the winners finish 7th or below. Essentially, Man City winning the FA Cup would guarantee 6th gets Europa League and 7th gets Europa Conference League. But if Manchester United or Chelsea were to win the competition and finish 6th and 7th, they would qualify for the Europa Conference League. The worst possible scenario for the Magpies would be to finish 7th and the winners finish below them. That would mean no Europe altogether. Newcastle fans, what do you make of what we discussed in today's video? And are you happy that the FA Cup has removed replay rounds from the first round onwards? Let us know down in the comment section below. That brings us to the end of today's video. Make sure you do drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel for more Newcastle United content. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.